You guys recently gave me one of my most liked photos on Instagram and I know likes aren't the most important thing or like the craziest thing but it was cool to see how many of you guys showed support and all the positive feedback I got from it so I really appreciate that. I also got a few requests to make a tutorial on how I combine the Fuji template with the mirror mask like GIF effect. So that's what we're gonna go over today so let's get it started. Once you have Photoshop open with all the photos you want to use, let's go ahead and start moving all the images into one tab. Once we have all the images in the same tab, the next thing I'm going to do is double click the background layer so it gets unlocked. And according to its file name, I'm going to keep track of the order so I'm going to go ahead and label it 22. And I'm going to do the same for the others. The reason why we unlock the first layer first, because once we make the GIF and we add the film template as well, in case you guys want to change the composition to better fit the template, we could do that. Just like we did in the Mirror Master GIF tutorial, we're going to change the opacity and then start overlapping these photos so we can create that GIF effect. So once you're done overlapping each photo, the next thing you guys want to do is grab either two images or one image, depending how many you want to use. I decided to go with one, and I just used different parts from that photo for the film template, which is also why I duplicated the same layer so I can use it twice. Now that we have the photos that we're going to be using for the template, go ahead and create a layer mask for each of them, since we will be hiding certain portions of those photos later. The next thing we're going to do is drag the film template and add it onto our working tab. Once you have it on there, make sure it's on top of the list so it's not hidden under any other layers. And then go ahead and scale it bigger so it fits your photo. Once you figured out how you want the film template to be set up, now go ahead and select all your three photos that you're going to be using for the GIF or two, however many you're using, and then group them by holding Command and then clicking G. Now if we move the group, we can move all three photos and fit it to the composition the way we want. And you want to do this before you make the timeline and make the GIF or else it'll throw it off because it won't move accordingly or it won't move together. It'll keep reverting back to its original composition. So figure out the composition you'd like and then move forward. Once you have the composition set, the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and start hiding certain portions of the photos we added earlier to fit the bottom and top portions of that template. Now I'm going to go ahead and click the arrow on the group so I can see the layers that are under it and I'm going to go ahead and hide all of them except the first layer. Now we can click the window and make that timeline. Because I do have 3 photos for this GIF, I am going to change the speed from which it changes from frame to frame to 0.1 seconds instead of the 2.0 seconds I used before when I was only using 2 photos. The reason why I'm doing that is because it does end up looking a lot smoother and cleaner at 0.1 second than it does at 0.2 seconds. Then we create a new layer and then unhide the next upcoming photo which is 23. Once again we repeat it, we create a new layer and then unhide 24. We're going to create one more new layer and this time high 24 so it goes to 23. Now when we play it, we can start seeing the GIF in action and the reason why everything else is not moving is because the only thing we keep hiding and then hiding are the photos we're using for the GIF while everything else we always leave visible. Now we can select the four layers and then duplicate it to speed up the process until we reach a 3 second threshold that Instagram has and once you guys reach 64, you guys should be good. Once again, before we render, we gotta change the image size, so go ahead and click Command Option I. Once this pop-up comes up, in the first tutorial, I did have a couple questions and issues that did pop up from a couple of you guys, and one of them was, it was still too big of a file, so go ahead, instead of putting 10, put 5, and the quality does retain, as you guys saw in my Instagram post, I did change it to 5, and it still looks pretty good. Oh yeah, and also make sure it's on inches and not centimeters. Once you guys have made the bigger dimension 5, go ahead and click file export and then render the video another common question that i had was that you guys were getting black borders on your gif so to get rid of that go down here where it says size and make sure it's on document size i think by default sometimes it goes to custom so make sure you guys click it and select document size once you guys have the destination you guys want to save it onto go ahead and click render and you guys should be good now here's the final result and also the one on Instagram was a bit different and I don't want to act like I'm hiding anything so let's go ahead and look at that file and I did end up adding a gradient, a curves adjustment and also like a little grain because I felt like it added more to the photo and the reason why I didn't come out of the tutorial was because I just wanted to be straight to the point when it came to combining the template with the GIF. So I hope you guys found today's video helpful.
Once again, thank you guys for everything. Like when it comes to all the support, not just on YouTube, but also Instagram, like everything, I really appreciate it. I know it's still a small channel, but I'm so grateful and thankful for everyone who's been supporting so far. And either dropping a compliment or any feedback in general, it's pretty sick to see that. And I hope to keep having fun making these videos. And as I keep growing, because I'm still learning a lot when it comes to photography, as I keep learning new things, I can't wait to share that with you guys. So you guys can also apply it to your photos. And I just want to say, I, don't, I know I said this already, but I just want to say thank you. And I hope to catch you guys at the next one. Alright, peace.